hi in this video we will understand how the survey will be done uh, from the web portal okay as uh, we have explained uh, the survey can be done from the mobile application as well as from the web portal uh, here uh, we will uh, show how the web portal how the survey will be done from the web portal in the another video uh, we will explain how the uh, survey will be done from the mobile application so uh, to do the survey from the mobile uh, from the web portal uh, first uh, we will log in uh, first we will uh, open the web portal then we will log in from the surveyor credential okay now uh, on the under the survey we will go to the household information here the all the survey which uh, this user have been done uh, are being shown uh, are being shown in the list uh, on the top most uh, we will get an, an option add new when we click on the add new button we will get the add household information page here uh, when we will do the survey we will first uh, add the household information page and then we will add the children information page so the first one is the area detail here this is the automatically filled because we logged in from the uh, surveyor user and survey is ma surveyor is mapped to the dice code and on basis of that dice code the name of the school district block cluster and panchayat is already being shown uh, selected here we will select uh, the village name and then on basis of the village we will get the habitation here the habitations are those which are tagged from the planning of uh, which are tagged uh, by the planning officer to the this dice code after the selection of the area detail now this is the household details here uh, in the household code we will have to enter the three digit household number like 198 uh, after that the uh, second one is the name of the head of the household this is the text uh, the name of the uh, head of the household and uh, like uh, uh, test uh, test demo video uh, web portal okay just to remember the next option is how those household mobile number uh, which is uh, the optional but let me enter uh, this too and this is the alternate mobile number this is also an optional let me skip that one the next one is the gender of the family head the family members uh, the family had uh, gender and next is the marital status the here are of the option never married currently married widowed separated and divorced let me select the currently married in the religion the uh, hindu islam christian sikh jain buddhism uh, uh, and other and we don't know so uh, let me select the islam and uh, now the social category in the social category there are four options out of which we have to select the one and the main occupation there is the seven and eight one main, main occupations uh, we out of which we will need to select like agriculture survey base this is the bpl status that means the family is under the bpl or not if the families have the bpl card in that case we will have to select the yes but if family is not uh, the bpl uh, hold uh, bpl card holder that means that uh, doesn't come uh, the family doesn't come under the uh, below below poverty line in that case uh, he will uh, select to the no which is the by default selection now there is the family detail uh, here there are the two options the number of family members and the another one is number of children by age group here in number of family member is like uh, the family member uh, the fa all family members on basis of gender suppose a family uh, suppose there is a family uh, where the household is of um, uh, male gender right but and have only a one child uh, there is no wife or someone else but uh, she has an uh, but he has an a uh, uh, child girl of uh, uh, 3 to 5 year age suppose in that case there uh, in the family there are two members one male and one female right out of which there is one child with the age group of 3 to 5 now how we will enter that we will let me know let me uh, fill 
uh, as there is one male member so we will uh, fill the one in the one female member one transgender zero that means family members is two one male and one female but now in the next option number of children by age group so uh, the girl there is a there is a girl only as a child and uh, c is of 3 to 5 age uh, c is, uh, lies under the 3 to 5 age group so we will enter 1 0 0 0 0 0 right now come to the uh, migration detail there is three type of migrations out migration in migration and no migration if family is not migrated uh, uh, from the native place uh, then uh, we will select no no migration but if family is migrated from the out uh, if family is migrated uh, from uh, the uh, from that place where survey is being done to the another place in that case we will enter the out migration we will enter the out migration uh, and if the family is uh, if the family is uh, come from another place to the place where the survey is being done in that case we will have to select the in migration in the out migration in the out migration uh, in the out migration there are options for the uh, for the when uh, when did family migrate from the native place when will family return from the native place uh, where did family migrate where, where did family migrate name of the state ut from uh, where migrated like this and uh, who migrated with the family okay when did family my when did family migrated from the negative uh, from when did family migrated from the native place when will family return from the native place right uh, here we will have to select the month and year uh, of the fam uh, of the uh, uh, year uh, the month and year uh, when the family was migrated and when family will return uh, here um, we will have to select the month and this if uh, there is when family uh, where, uh, where did family migrated in that case uh, suppose uh, uh, if family migrated from the within district and outside the district within the state and outside the state if family is migrated within the district and if family is migrated outside the district but within the state in that case we will not ask for the state selection but if outside the state in that case the next option that is the state and union territory uh, will be enabled and the user will have to select the uh, uh, the state and or union territory right suppose uh, the, the family is migrated outside and uh, the family was migrated in january 2021 and family is my uh, family is uh, planning to return to the migrated place uh, from the migrated place on the december 2021 family was migrated outside the district but within the state that means he uh, the family is migrated in the jambu kashmir union territory but not uh, in the anantanag district that means outside the anantanag district okay in that case uh, select will not be uh, the state will not be select will not have to be selected and uh, uh, in the who migrated the who migrated with the family there are only adult males only adult females adult male and female both children uh, with either parent no family and uh, no only children and whole family like no adult only adults in that case now there is the two options uh, to proceed for the survey save and add child and save and finish if uh, we are not going to capture the children information for now we can uh, click uh, uh, on to the save and finish but if we are going to capture the children information as well we will click on the save and child button let me click on the save and child button as we have captured the household information uh, area information and household information we have captured now we will uh, enter the children information on basis of the uh, details which we have selected here as we have uh, we have entered the one uh, child uh, one child of the 3 to 5 year age group and that is female so we will proceed this like this here 
द हाउस होल्ड कोड विच इज दैट इज द ऑटोमेटिकली फील्ड एंड इज अ डिसेबल्ड फील्ड दिस इज द हाउस होल्ड कोड विच वी एंटर्ड इन द प्रीवियस स्क्रीन प्रीवियस पेज एंड सीरियल नंबर इज एन ऑटोमेटिकली जेनरेटेड नंबर एंड विल ऑलवेज बी डिसेबल्ड वी कैन नॉट एडिट दैट नाउ द नेम ऑफ द चाइल्ड नेम ऑफ द चाइल्ड टेस्ट डेमो वीडियो वेब पोर्टल ओके नेम ऑफ द फादर मदर नेम इज द ऑप्शनल बट वी कैन एंटर एज आवर नॉट एज एज यू वॉन्ट लेट मी स्कीप दैट स्टेटस ऑफ द आधार दिस इज द स्टेटस ऑफ द आधार इफ आधार इज अवेलेबल बट नॉट रेडी टू शो या द आधार इज रजिस्टर्ड रजिस्टर्ड फॉर आधार बट आधार इज नॉट अवेलेबल एंड नॉट रजिस्टर्ड फॉर आधार वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू कैप्चर द आधार नंबर फॉर सिक्योरिटी रीजन्स बट वी आर कैप्चरिंग द स्टेटस ऑफ द आधार here the next option is the date of birth and on basis of that the age will be calculated uh, the uh, as uh, we have entered a 3 to 5 year old child so uh, we are just capturing the 2018 suppose 31st of march 2018 right on basis of that the date has been age has been already calculated and that is 3 year age group now come to the source of verification of date this is the uh, this is the verification uh, this is the basically certificate using which the uh, date birth was uh, confirmed that is date uh, birth certificate the ration card mark list any other document no document and tentative date tentative date is something like suppose a family don't uh, know the uh, date of the child in that case uh, we will just enter like one of first of april 2018 and uh, on the option we will enter the tentative date okay uh, in the gender there are three options male female and uh, transgender as uh, when we were capturing the household information we mentioned that the child is the female so so we will enter the female uh, in the next option marital status if the child if the uh, child's age is below the 10 year then uh, this option will be uh, already disabled but if that will be of uh, after 10 year the this option will be enabled and user will have to select the option by default never married will be selected does the child have the disability certificate these two options are uh, dependent uh, that means this the option is dependent to this if the child is disabled in that case we will select the yes and on basis of that the next option will be uh, enabled that means uh, what type of disability uh, the child have if the child doesn't have any disability in that case the user will have to select the no and in that case this option will be disabled okay let me select to the yes and this to the no visa okay now the next uh, next some options are of uh, child functioning in the child functioning uh, there are seeing hearing walking fine monitor like this or all, all these are not the disabilities but uh, these are the child functioning like uh, you can understand that uh, communication understanding if a child is uh, uh, having a little difficulty or having a difficulty in communication understanding th uh, that doesn't mean the child is disabled but yes child functioning uh, child have some functioning problems and that is yes difficulty on the communication understanding by default all option will be of uh, no difficulty here after that if the is the child is engaged in work if child is engaged in work what type of work he is engaged in which type of work he is engaged um, now child is engaged in work let me select yes in that case this option will be disabled and user will have to select uh, an option out of these four options but if uh, uh, child is not engaged in any work in that case uh, uh, surveyor will have to select the no and in that case uh, this will be disabled and now he can you uh, surveyor can go to the next option now this is the main option which is the education educational status if child is currently enrolled in awc if child is currently enrolled in pre primary classes if child is currently enrolled in attending regularly if child uh, currently child enrolled in school but not attending uh, during the 30 last 30 days and uh, child is enrolled in school but not attending regularly child currently enrolled in school but never attending regularly right all these options are currently enrolled uh, except this the seventh option is for the dropped out for the dropped out 
for the dropped out and the eighth option is for, for the never enrolled like and uh, on basis of selection of these the other further options will be enabled and disabled like currently enrolled in class will be a uh, will be enabled currently enrolled in class currently enrolled in school institute these options will be enabled only when uh, the education status will be selected as currently enrolled in awc like currently enrolled in awc these options have been disabled have been enabled these and these and does the child have travel outside mode of the transport distance these when the when you will select the dropped out the child is dropped out okay in that case as child is not currently enrolled this option will be disabled this option will be disabled this option will be disabled mode of transport will be disabled because he is not going to the school and dropped out class this will be enabled okay so these are the uh, the, the further options are uh, dependent on this education status like now uh, suppose uh, the child is dropped out from the class okay now uh, in from which class the child is disabled pre primary class okay on basis of age this is not the uh, this is not the right selection here as a child uh, is of 3 to 5 year 3 3 year age group and uh, he cannot be dropped out from the uh, this class so let me select the never enrolled in never enrolled uh, the option is all options are disabled now come to the whether child is dropped uh, dropped or not attending due to covid 19 that means uh, if child is uh, not attending the school because of the covid 19 in that case we will select yes and uh, you know, on basis of that we will have to select the reason reason is this yes child has to join work because family loss income no this is not the option yes family decided to marry the girl child this is not the option if there is the other option then you can select like uh, child is not uh, attending uh, suppose there was a child of three year age but uh, uh, because of the covid we could not get the admission of the child <coughs> then in that case we will select simply the other next option is the child status Ch uh, here the child status there are many options child labor under deprived child orphan single parent child manual uh, scavengers child like this right this is the multi selection and here we can select the multiple options this is the multi selection because maybe child is labor and child is orphan in that case we will select both right now uh, the reason for not being in school these options will be disabled when the child will be dropped out and never enrolled uh, in that case child is uh, engaged in household charos taking care of siblings this like uh, we can select an option which uh, illness health yeah, many problems and in the another option if uh, he have uh, another one also child is too young for the school maybe and now the next option is for the planning of a planning that means the strategy of mainstream of planning where we are going to plan the child uh, this is uh, on basis of the uh, on basis of the age as the child was of 3 to 5 year age group that means child was 3 year age uh, 3 year old so he cannot uh, enroll in the formal class or special training program so uh, all options are disabled here only the uh, admission in wc and admission in pre primary schools are enabled okay uh, when you will uh, try and you will enter the child of 6 to 14 year age group in that case you will get that the options for the formal list class and special training program will also be uh, enabled in this like uh, admission in AWS school and if the if uh, uh, surveyor will select an option of the special training program in that case uh, this option will be enabled and here the duration of the special training program will also have to be selected now going to the finish of the child now now the mother name uh, we are just entering the mother name as it was uh, not mandatory but uh, it's asking so now you will get that uh, the test uh, the household uh, survey details have been captured 
and uh, you, you have been uh, directed to the uh, list page where you can see that the household uh, household information that means head of the household name video web portal and the household information have been captured with the journal agriculture ways and here <coughs> with the two family members one male one female and one children information the details have been captured and the status of the survey is pending for approval corresponding to this uh, uh, the children information is uh, will be under the children information tab here the children information is there now let me uh, uh, let me show how the appro approval of uh, this here we will go here and uh, then in the last we will get an option sorry uh, this is the surveyor user so uh, surveyor is not uh, able to do the uh, to do uh, to do the approval and disapproval to take the decision on the approval and disapproval so uh, the surveyor uh, have submitted the survey now the upper level officer uh, let me show the upper level officer i have just admin uh, just to show i have logged in using the admin here this uh, you can see the approval and disapproval can be done for that survey okay this is all uh, for the uh, survey how the survey is done from the web portal that's all thank you